Live from Greenwich, Connecticut, you're watching the greatest classic car show in the entire Northeast, the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance on Be Terrific. Welcome back to your live coverage of the Greenwich Concourse de Elegance 2017 here in Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm Michael Artsis, you're watching Be Terrific. Allison Berger is my co-host joining me here, and uh, we found something special. We did. We found this guy Bob here and his Amphibicar. Uh, it's a 1967 Amphibicar. I have never, ever seen one, but I've always thought they were like the coolest thing in the world because, well, it's like some part James Bond and some part racer, yet it never really succeeded on either, did it? No, it, it's classified as it's not a really good car and it's not a really good boat, but it does both. <laughs> All Amphicars are model 770 meaning it goes seven miles an hour on the water or 70 miles an hour on land. I've had mine up to 60, and it, it could have gone faster, but I was happy with that. <laughs> Tell me about uh, this, I mean, this car. It, first of all, it, it was this model was it. There was no success after that. You rarely see them today, um, and, and there was no successor. They're, they're made in West Germany in the, from the early 60s, 62 to 67. I think there were 430 made. I have a picture of the production line. And there's a couple hundred left in, in the U.S. Uh, this happens to be of, you know, great quality. There's some that, if you go to Orlando, you could you could ride in one. They have them at Disney. <laughs> but they're not as nice as this one. Have you of ever course not. Have you ever taken this in the water? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it goes in the water regularly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, there were a lot of problems with them going in the water, right? Like with rust and all sorts of things? Well, you, you never want to put it in salt water. Uh, earlier today, a, a guy was here that said he made the biggest mistake of his life. He put his in salt water and then flush it, and it all rusted out on them. The oh. brakes, I mean, when the brakes and everything go in, so you only want to go in fresh water. That makes sense. And living in Connecticut, it's easy to do that. Yes. We have a beautiful bay right by us. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, there's plenty of lakes. Uh, Lake Zor is one that I use. I live in Fairfield, not too far from here. But it's fun, and people go crazy when they see you, you know? Like, what's this guy doing, you know? What I always wondered was uh, how much these cost brand new. Were they expensive? I never un I, n I never knew that. That Right now, they're, like, this car is worth 80000 uh, Right, but brand new, I mean, it's a collector's think, item now, I so, yeah. I knew they were, like, 3000 when Which in the it? 60s was pretty, it was pretty pricey, but you had a boat and a car was the concept. Right, but like I say, it wasn't a good boat, it wasn't a good car, so it, it didn't take off. Jack of uh, all trades, master of none. Yeah, yeah. Uh, take us through the car. Sure. Um, and how, when was the last time you had it in the water? It's be you have it in beautiful condition, right by the way. Now, when you put it in the water, you have to click this little lever here to seal the doors. Okay, if you don't do that, you could get seepage. There's no water that comes inside as long as you do that. Have you ever had a moment where you had a little leakage? No. Here's a picture of it in the water, and you could see it rides pretty high. It does. Uh, so see. no, you've never had leakage? No. You'll see when we get around the back, the exhaust is up high. Everything's high that needs to be. So it was kind of well thought out. It just didn't effectively, it wasn't effectively a good car or a good no. boat. No. And right but now, is it fun, though? Oh, it's, it's a blast, and especially the people see you drive it down the boat ramp and into the water. They're like, is this thing going to sink? You know, and you just wave to them and go by, and it's fun when you put four people in it. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's go to the back, I guess. So, if you notice on the back, that's the exhaust, so it's above the water. And they're all made with... Yeah, well, I guess we're going to get pulled over because we, they're not sure if we're a boat or a car or if we're allowed to be here. We need to get an inspection. No. Anyway, there's a, a police car next to us. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but anyway, uh, it's making a lot of noise. And uh, and, and so, yeah, I, I just wanted to let everybody know what that noise was. So the exhaust is up here, yep. so it's out. And this is an air intake? This is, if you get water in the bilge, there's a pump that comes on automatically and it shoots it up in the air so you're aware of it. This is so crazy. It literally looks like a boat in here. This is like the engine bay of a boat. Yes. It's a 42-horsepower uh, Triumph motor, same as they use in the early 60 uh, sp Spitfires. And it's set up exactly the same way. The only difference is the transmission. It has a regular four-speed transmission, but there's another lever on the floor to engage the props. There's a forward and reverse. Now, how it steers in the water, 
when you turn the steering wheel and the wheels turn and act as a rudder. Wow. Does an really? engine like this involve a different type of upkeep? No, no, it's just a four-cylinder four Triumph, pretty easy to get parts for. And the only thing, the transmission is a little complicated because it has the, drives the props and it, it does the land use. But it Because works it's out. half a boat, do you need to have life vests on board? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come where, right over here. where are those? I'm going to show you. It's a, so I just realized it's a rear engine. I, <laughs> I didn't even realize that before. Wow. Well, would you look at that? Now you can see it's highly restored, and this past the vessel. So when you get pulled over on the water, they want to see your life vest. You have to have flares and so forth, and I have it all. Wow. So how often do you have to go through checks and you know regulations no, and all? That? Once you have it, but once a year you have to get your numbers renewed. Do you, and do you have you have a like a boating? What do they call? I'm yes. not a boater, a boating tail number. Yes, but I put it on with a magnetic sign, so I don't have to have them on it. Yeah. This so is, how did this come into your possession? Well, I've had three of them, and I just something I was intrigued with, that it, it is a boat in a car. And this one I bought from a friend of mine that lives in Florida, and he bought it from the Peterson Museum in California. It spent some of its life there. So it was highly restored, but we use it. Wow. So it's very interesting that it came from very surrounded by water, warm places, and then you changed the game and brought it up to Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully in the summer, if we get some good weather, it's it's nice to go out on a sunny day, but... How long have you had it? I've had this one since last year, okay. and I've had two others. And, and I mean, considering that it was at the Peterson Museum, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. Yes, yeah. It was restored to a level where it could be there. Yeah, that's uh, some legacy. And then I noticed it's got the, what do they call these? I'm not a boater. It's a, the boat lights. Port and starboard. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yep. You're never afraid of uh, sinking this thing. No. <laughs> you have to have a boat license? Yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. Wow. But you could go any, like... If you had a boat, you really are going to take it near where you live unless you're going to transport it across yeah. the country. But you could drive this to Florida and hop in the water. You have to have a boat license there, too? Yeah. Well, it, yes, you do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a Florida license if you're in Florida. That's amazing. Yeah. So. Because you could really just drive it into the water in Florida. Sure. And oh, then yeah. drive it in as you're coming up the coast. Yeah. You just pull up to a lake, and if there's a boat ramp, just drive it down the ramp engage the props and away you go. It's so cool. It really is. It's really fascinating. So you kind of need to have a car music playlist and a boat music playlist <laughs> so it fits both scenarios, yeah. right? So how's it drive in the rain? <laughs> well, you put the top on. Well, no, I, I was, you know, it was a yeah. joke. You know, <laughs> the rain is kind of a combination between the road and the... Yeah. It and covers all elements. When you have to explain it that much, it's not that funny. <laughs> That's all right, Michael. Thank you. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> it's just starting. What are you talking about? Look at all these beautiful cars here. I'm very and this. Happy that I'm, I'm the only one here. I'm judged with uh, 1962 to 68 German cars because okay. it was made in West Germany. Right. So they came and judged me already and hoping. And, and, uh, a, uh, and a Japanese crossed. car right there. But that's different. Uh, that's a different class. Different class. Okay. I was yeah. like, all right, that's interesting. Different class. We've Is this some. your first time attending the concourse? No, I was here last year with a 1931 Good Humor truck, a Model A Good Humor. Wow. And I did win with that. Were you giving out ice cream? I, I wasn't because the person was selling it next to me and that would have been uh, <laughs> That would have been a conflict. She wouldn't have been happy. No, definitely not. Well, thank you so How much cool. for joining us. Thank this you. is a really awesome yes. uh, vehicle. Thanks, and, thanks for uh, taking a look at yeah, it. Yeah, it seems like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. We can be ready for a dip now. Yeah, there's a, a body of water right there. Salt water, that, I was going to say, that yeah. is. But right? I would be glad to take you guys any other time. Really? We would love to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're going to do Be Terrific Live right on the Amphibicar? That'd be cool. Can we drive? We do it live. We'll drive right into the water. Yeah. What do you think, Terrific? That's pretty awesome. i got to get your info. We're going to take a break so I can do that. Stay with us. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this. There's Ferraris. There's Porsches. There's Maseratis, Lamborghinis. You've seen some. You're going to see a whole lot more. Don't go anywhere. The Greenwich Concourse d'Elegance on Be Terrific.